the squad car came here and I lost what I was going to say. Just stop it a minute. The squad car came here to Crestwood Village on the north. What part of it? him alone because we were involved in a shooting where he tried to kill me and my brother Tommy and uh, we knew that someday this would come to a head. The paper had quoted that at one time there was a prosecution going on and that no witnesses appeared and they dismissed the case. Well, that is not the truth. I appeared every time because I feel it is the uh, responsibility of every citizen if they're subpoenaed to go to court and testify to be there. And I was there. And uh, Judge Burke was on the bench and uh, they threw the case out because of a bad affidavit after a year. Well, I told him at that time, boys, you're going to do it again. Well, I'm so glad that it happened again and it ended good and I'm so glad the way it ended that he I understand now that he will have some psychiatric treatment and care and uh, maybe he can get these things under behind him because he's a fantastic man smart everything but his intelligence goes haywire so uh, we'll be praying for him and and uh, I stayed anonymous here the time I was here for the reason if you knew I was here it, and something did go wrong then they would say well if they hadn't seen me, it wouldn't happen. But uh, I couldn't leave till it was over with. So I'm going to go ahead back to my job and be praying that uh, the Lord will intercede for Tone and that he can get things settled and realize that whatever it is, you get it under the blood of Jesus, it's over. And, uh, so thank you. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. Glad was just stand there for a second. He wants to get a shot at me. Oh. This is just where they prove I was really here. <laughs> no. I'll ask a reverse question too while we were only here. This is just for it makes the editing easier. Yes. I'm gonna ask another question, but the same question I asked before, you don't have to answer it this time, okay? All right. Did you have any contact with Tony during the several days when he was up in the apartment? No, I had not. Uh, when I came into town, uh, they had asked me to stay in the background and no guns. Steve, thank you. Dead Man's Line. The true story of Tony Karitsis.